It is decision day for the Union's Royal Commission, with Commissioner Dyson Hayden set to reveal whether he will stand himself down. The former High Court judge has spent more than a week now deciding whether to disqualify himself after seven unions demanded the move over perceptions of bias. The submissions were made after it was revealed the Royal Commissioner had agreed to speak at a Liberal Party function. Mr Hayden said he'd overlooked the link and he later withdrew from that event. Now the Commissioner denies knowing the event was a fundraiser and he's described the union submissions as interesting and complex. Unions are demanding the Commission be wound up but the Prime Minister insists it will continue and has accused the unions of smearing the Commissioner. Let's take you now to the Commission in Sydney. Reporter Anne Barker joins us. Anne, good morning. How will today play out? Michael, we're not expecting a decision until 2 o'clock, in fact, this afternoon. That's when Justice uh, Dyson Hayden has said that he will finally deliver his decision. Now, this is a decision that's been uh, coming for at least 10 days. It's, it's 10 days ago today that the unions put their case, their argument as to why he should stand down because of the perception of bias, on, on their, uh, according to their claims. Uh, the original decision was going to be made last Tuesday and then Justice Dyson Hayden said then that he wanted to take the time required to make the decision properly. So then it was delayed until last Friday and then the unions claimed that more information had come to light uh, that raised questions about the involvement of the counsel assisting the Commission, Jeremy Stoljar QC, and uh, the unions claimed that it suggested that he was actually uh, aware of this invitation that had been put to the, to the Justice uh, before the story first broke in the media over a month ago. And so they uh, wanted more time to consider their arguments. And again, the decision was delayed until today. So it's still about five or six hours before we'll know what that decision is. And for his part, Justin Hayden is insisting it was all uh, simply an innocent mistake, uh, him agreeing in the first instance to attend this Liberal Party event. That's right. I mean, the unions, there were seven unions and the ACTU that put their arguments uh, before the Commission on Friday a over a week ago, uh, arguing that because of the invitation that he accepted to speak at the Sir Garfield Barwick address, which was a Liberal Party fundraiser, they claimed that there was a clear connection between uh, Justice Hayden and the Liberal Party. And of course, the, uh, the, the, the Commissioner himself didn't make any statements during that hearing, but had previously said that he'd overlooked the connection between the Sir Garfield Barwick address and the Liberal Party. He didn't realise that it was a fundraiser and therefore didn't realise that it was a party political event. Uh, and of course a lot of the argument went to uh, just how much he did know what the email chain between him and the organisers of that event suggested. And uh, we'll, we'll know today whether he will uh, rule himself out from the Royal Commission. And, and if Dyson Hayden does indeed do that and, and, and recuses himself from the Commission, what does that mean for the Commission and all the work, all the hearings it's held so far? Well, the union movement would argue that it should be disbanded altogether. They've argued all along, of course, that this is a, a Liberal Party witch hunt against the unions, uh, despite a lot of the allegations that have come out about corruption within different unions, uh, the CFMEU, the HSU and, and a multitude of unions. Uh, the uh, Tony Abbott, as you say, the Prime Minister says the, un, uh, the Commission should continue and therefore it would be a matter of finding somebody else who could step in to replace Justice Dyson Hayden if indeed he does step down. Now, there have been suggestions that Jeremy Stolger, the uh, counsel assisting the Commission, might well be that person simply because he's been the person uh, assisting the Commission for the length of the, uh, the nearly two years now that it's been sitting and therefore he knows the background, he knows the history and that would be the difficult thing that if this Commission was, uh, if the Commissioner was to step down, uh, it would be very hard to see who could come in and have the, the detail in their head of, of what's been said before and therefore be able to, uh, to make findings appropriately down the track. And Barker, a very big day ahead. Thank you so much.